Okay, <coughs> thank you very much for introduction, and uh, uh, I thank Imbohe uh, Kyosunim for uh, <laughs> invitation. Um, <coughs> uh, <coughs> so I, I rem remember that I visited uh, Korea for the first time uh, in 1997 on the occasion of an algebra con conference, which was held here. And uh, it was held just in this room, so uh, uh, I have uh, m my memory uh, uh, with uh, Korea or uh, Kais be begins uh, with this room, <laughs> so uh, I'm very happy. And uh, <coughs> uh, after uh, that, I have uh, visited uh, Kais several times, at, at least three times, and as I remember, and uh, <coughs> uh, e every time I. I uh, found uh, this uh, <coughs> institute very nice, and today also I uh, took a walk in the uh, campus and found very beautiful. And uh, but something uh, before I felt something was missing, and today I am con convinced that uh, it is Kaist is now complete by getting uh, Professor Imbohe. <laughs> 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 so now uh, uh, now Kaist is. Uh, <coughs> Now, KAIST is a Tidon Institute, <laughs> so it, is, it should be called uh, KAIS. I will do my best. <laughs> yeah, so, KAIS should be KAIS. Tidon Institute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, so today I am going to uh, talk about some uh, finiteness or infiniteness theorem in number theory. Um, <coughs> so, uh, so there are many uh, famous finite th finiteness theorems in number theory. Uh, <coughs> so, of course, our uh, main object is uh, number field. <coughs> so, so this is a finite extension and uh, we consider its uh, ring of integers so I <coughs> denote always by O sub something the uh, integer ring So this is the, the integral closure of uh, the rational integer in Z in this field, K. So, uh, and uh, uh oh, <laughs> it disappeared. There are many finiteness. <coughs> uh, so maybe the most famous uh, classical f finite theorem is uh, w one of them is uh, the, the Dirichlet unit theorem. So, <coughs> so this is the multiplicative group of the integer ring. Uh, is <coughs> Uh, finitely generated, finitely generated, and uh, another famous one is the class group, ideal class group. So this is the uh, group of uh, fractional ideals of K mod modeled by the principal ones. So this is finite. <coughs> so the ring of integers of a uh, number field is a typical uh, dedicated ring, but these properties do not hold for 
uh, general dedicated ring. So uh, such a <coughs> finiteness is a characteristic of uh, number fields or number theory. And uh, <coughs> also we have a <coughs> classical finiteness theorem called Hermit Minkowski's theorem. So this states that the number of, uh, so there is only finitely many uh, finite extensions of uh, Q which are unramified, unramified outside a uh, <coughs> finite set of primes. So. Uh, I don't explain very precisely, but uh, <coughs> and of given degree. Uh, so S and N are fixed. Then this is finite. Uh, this is usually proved by using uh, the so-called geometry of numbers, uh, and uh, uh, <coughs> this is uh, this is. Uh, uh, a ba basis of many other finiteness theorems in, uh, for example, in arithmetic geometry. Oh, is, is this okay? So, <coughs> since today I would like to talk about model wave groups, so let me explain now. Uh, ah. Maybe uh, another classical finiteness theorem. So this is the model Bayer theorem. So this states that if A is an abelian variety over K, so this small K is a finite, a finite algebraic number field, and uh, this is an abelian. Variety of a K, then the group of K rational points uh, is finitely generated. So this, uh, <coughs> for example, uh, if A is a is one dimensional, so this is defined by an equation like this. Uh, so this is a, a, a polynomial of degree three uh, and with no uh, multiple root. <coughs> then this is called an elliptic curve. Uh, I mean, uh, it's projective model is a projective smooth uh, curve and uh, with <coughs> a, yeah maybe here <coughs> so uh, <coughs> if we write a, a, a graph of this curve in the real plane then uh, we can define a ah, sorry so maybe yeah yeah, yeah. So, uh, in, in this case, uh, this set is defined to be in this way. Uh, with a point at infinity, and so this o, o, o is Are considered to be at infinity, and uh, <coughs> on this set we can define a group row, uh, as you, you know well. Uh, if you have two points, <coughs> then uh, you write, row, draw a line, and uh, the third point comes here. So, on the 
symmetric point uh, is defined to be p plus q and by this law uh, <coughs> this set becomes uh, an abelian group and uh, <coughs> Poincaré uh, first uh, conjectured or asked if uh, if, if A is an uh, elliptic curve over defined over uh, the rationals, then a, a, if this group is finitely generated or not. <coughs> and a uh, model proved uh, th this is uh, in fact true and, uh, <coughs> uh, in 1922. And then uh, several years later, they proved this theorem for, uh, in the case, where A is a Jacobian of a curve, and uh, 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 yeah, late, uh, yeah, later uh, this was proved in general for abelian variety. <coughs> okay, so this uh, I think these are typical uh, finiteness theorems in uh, number. Fields, a uh, number theory. <coughs> so now, um, so all these theorems uh, hold hold only for, for finite extensions of Q. And uh, now I would like to ask uh, about uh, larger fields. How about and as an extreme case, uh, uh, so now <coughs> for larger fields, I will use a large uh, a large k. Uh, a small k will appear again later, and uh, <coughs> so. Uh, if k is uh, the algebraic closure of Q, then uh, of course, uh, well, maybe I should skip trivial <laughs> examples, but uh, so in, in this case, if A is an uh, abelian variety over, uh, defined over an algebraic number field, then uh, this is. Um, of infinite degree, ah, uh, rank, infinite rank. So by infinite rank, I mean that uh, the dimension of, so this is just a Z module, so I kill the, uh, Inside over <coughs> z with q, and uh, di this dimension is infinity. So this is the mean of infinite rank. Uh, but in fact, more precisely, in this case, uh, the torsion subgroup. This is, uh, as is well known, uh, uh, isomorphic to this group so this is also a rather big sub uh, big group and uh, <coughs> also uh, The whole model vague group divided by ah so so this those means the uh, subgroup consisting of torsion elements and uh, uh, this quotient group is also big um, uh, since this group is divisible uh, this uh, group is has a structure of q-vector space, and the dimension is infinity. Ah. 
so uh, uh, this is a uh, very big abelian group in that uh, uh, in, in this sense <coughs> so I think this I will quote this later so uh, so this is an extreme case this is very big case now uh, <coughs> I want to consider not so big fields how about uh, over fields of mi middle size Um, <clears throat> so I, uh, uh, as a starting point, I think this, there is a conjecture. This starting point for me by Fry and Yarden. Uh, in fact, they. Uh, did not write this as a conjecture, just a, they wrote just a pro problem. And uh, so their conjecture is if A is a uh, abelian, um, they, I, I think they stated this for abelian varieties over Q in their pa paper, but I think people believe it is, uh, uh, this conjecture is usually stated with over, over any number field. Uh, here K is a finite uh, <coughs> finite number field. I, I mean finite extension of Q. <coughs> this is a finite extension. <coughs> then uh, is the group of uh, Is the model Vey group over uh, uh, this field the composite of K and the maximal abelian extension of Q? Uh, so this was uh, a problem of Fry and Yarden a long time ago. Yeah, I first l learned the, um, about this uh, conjecture in a lecture view <laughs> at uh, at Kias, in Kias. And <coughs> they actually uh, gave a result in the same paper. the same paper, uh, so that this is true for our uh, elliptic curves. Ah, yeah. Elliptic curves over the rational number field. Um, <coughs> so, <coughs> so in, in some sense, this this field is not too big, uh, at least compared to the with the algebraic closure. <coughs> but still, it uh, they con uh, conjecture that this is uh, has infinite rank. Uh, for the Jacobians or maybe elliptic curves? Uh, no, uh, just uh, the one dimensional case <coughs> of the contract. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yes. Uh, 
But j just for comparison, uh, let me uh, maybe I should mention another uh, conjecture in a different uh, direction. So, uh, so this is a conjecture by Mesa. So if a uh, so if a is a, an abelian variety over a finite number field, and uh, uh, with a good ordinary reduction at all places over P. <coughs> uh, so P is a fixed prime number. Then, uh, uh, and uh, if <coughs> K infinity is the cyclotomic ZP extension. Ah, <coughs> uh, oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I, I wrote K infinity is the cyclotomic ZP extension. <coughs> then the model B group is finite. So <coughs> Ah, finally degenerate. Ah, uh, in fact, this is uh, is not related to my talk uh, to today. But f just for comparison, I, maybe I, I thought I should uh, mention this because uh, uh, this field and this field uh, doesn't seem so much different. I mean. Uh, mm, it, it depends on you, but uh, um, not too different. But still, this is finitely generated, and uh, this is re uh, ah, this is yeah. So uh, your ZP extension is the same by giving the same good reduction. Yeah. 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 So this is and this P is the same. So the same P. Yeah. Same P. <coughs> Now, um, yeah. In fact, uh, Fry and Yarden uh, gave not only uh, this theorem, but uh, they also gave uh, some uh, kind of major theoretic, uh, uh, some interesting results. But instead of stating it here, I would like to introduce this theorem by Imbo Hekyo's name and Larsen. So this is more deterministic. So if K is cyclic, so in the sense that the uh, absolute Gara group Uh, so if I write G sub some field K K, so this means the uh, absolute Galo group. Uh, so this is the, is to topologically uh, cyclic, topologically generated by one element and uh, of characteristic different from two. And uh, not not contained in uh, an uh, algebraic closure of a finite field. I mean, uh, so this is not uh, not algebraic over a finite field. 
and uh, if k, uh, if a is a abelian variety, non-trivial abelian variety, then the model way rank is uh, infinite. Yeah, I, I, frankly speaking, I don't know uh, why uh, you don't put this, but uh, <coughs> do you know the reason? <laughs> Actually, uh, over this k, a, b, the infiniteness is also conjecture. But uh, it might be better to see the, the elements in q, a, b, and then we just had join the ground field. So that's why they just suggested this field first, but both are open questions. But the, the other one was conjectured by some other people, like Rosen and uh, oh, oh. Maser. Those people conjectured that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it, it would be interesting to find the counterexample to here, but uh, proof here. <laughs> but anyway. Mm. Anyway, I, I don't have any strong motivation. Mm. Yeah, so, <coughs> okay, back to this type of uh, result. Uh, in fact, there are many contributions by many people, like uh, uh, Imai, uh, Yap Top, and uh, Murabayashi, uh, Rosen and Wong, and uh, Ko Kobayashi. And uh, maybe <coughs> I just uh, introduce just one. Uh, so this is due to Sai Raiji, Sai Raiji and uh, Yamau Yam Yamauji. Uh, So, so if A is an abelian variety of a Q is of GL2 type with a trivial character. <coughs> so this just means that the Gawa representation attached to this A, A, A <coughs> the image lands Oh, the image oh, as associated to uh, image of the Galois representation attached to this uh, is contained in, in GL2 of a uh, uh, suitable field. And uh, <coughs> then the uh, conjecture is true. So uh, <coughs> oh, another one. So uh, this is again uh, due to the joint work by Imbo Hekos and uh, Lassen. So. <coughs> So, so all, all these are over the rational number field, but here the base, ah, maybe I should write a small k. Uh, the base field is uh, at most ah, uh, 
degree 4 and plus some condition and uh, A is an elliptic curve so one dimensional abelian variety then uh, uh, the model bay group of A over this field so this is much smaller than uh, this k k times q up so you only need to uh, join square roots of uh, rational numbers so this is of <coughs> infinite rank So uh, these are uh, kind of typical results in this direction. And now, uh, so but uh, these theorems uh, mentions just uh, infinite, infinite, uh, infinite rank or not. And uh, I'm not. Uh, so the following theorem. Uh, deals with a little bit more precise structure so so this is again about uh, abelian varieties of a q but uh, <coughs> it's a jacobian of a hyper elliptic curve of a q and uh, assume that <coughs> it has a rational point then uh, consider the Jacobian of this curve uh, and uh, <coughs> for any finite extension finite extension uh, <coughs> the same kind of uh, uh, field the model will rank over this the same, same kind of field yeah so so this <coughs> uh, This is the uh, direct sum of a finite Abelian group and uh, free uh, Abelian group of infinite rank, uh, uh, countable, countable rank. So when I consider the uh, model wave group over Q bar, I wrote that uh, somewhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, uh, uh, so some time ago, I wrote that. <coughs> Uh, so this is of uh, infinite dimension over Q. So this has a, a Q vector space. This is a Q vector space of infinite dimension, but this is a free Abelian group. Uh, so this is a, a free Z module. Um, <coughs> So to me, so these two things are very much different. This is much bigger and this is much smaller. So uh, <coughs> uh, in this sense, I think this cube, cube bar is very big, while uh, that kind of 
uh, infinite extension is moderately large. So this uh, is the reason of my title. And uh, <coughs> the difference between these two is that uh, this group is divisible, while this, this group is not divisible. And uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> so while considering the, the difference of these two, I uh, ah, so this this is section two. Uh, I came across the notion of Kuma faithful field. So uh, this is defined by Mochizuki. Uh, uh, in his paper called Topics in Absolute uh, uh, Annabelian Geometry 3. <coughs> and uh, it says that uh, so a perfect field uh, okay, is called Kuma faithful. Uh, so let me abbreviate as uh, KF, Kuma faithful. Uh, if or oh, I, I skipped okay, another one. So if for <coughs> uh, for any finite extension and uh, for any A, so here A is a semi Abelian variety. Uh, the this group has divisible part. So, uh, so some module uh, sub div means the uh, the maximal divisible part. So if this is zero, then it is called uh, Kuma faithful. So <coughs> I think it is called Kuma faithful because uh, under this condition, the Kuma theory works uh, uh, well. I mean, uh, not in some sense, not too big. The field is not too big. Uh, <coughs> ah, and uh, this, ah, yeah, so this is the maximal divisible subgroup. Yeah, uh, I, uh, so this is the original definition, uh, but uh, <coughs> uh, this is equ equ equivalent to saying that the same thing uh, with, uh, with L replaced by K, I mean the A of K divisible is zero. So, uh, <coughs> and uh, Uh, to see the relation with the uh, <coughs> uh, 
uh, torsion subgroups. Uh, let me introduce this proposition. So now K is, is a finite number field. And uh, suppose K uh, is a Galois extension of K. Uh, so, <coughs> for example, uh, yeah, 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 anyway, so I, I need this assumption to uh, have the following equivalence. And if K is a uh, semi Abelian variety over a small field, finite extension, and uh, <coughs> then uh, the following uh, equivalent. Uh, <coughs> so one is uh, So this condition holds with K and B A, A K. Uh, so this uh, denotes the L torsion subgroup of K. K. So this is uh, finite, uh, finite for all. Pri uh, L, L is any prime, so this is finite for all prime L. And uh, the, uh, so the last condition is that that so V L. So th this is the uh, rational Tate module. Yeah. <coughs> and this de denotes the fixed part. Fixed part by the uh, absolute Galois group of large K. So this uh, th th this can be verified easily. <coughs> uh, the point is that. Uh, in the definition of Kuma faithful field, uh, we use uh, the divisible part of the whole uh, model vague group. But uh, these conditions B and C concerns only with the uh, uh, torsion part. So, uh, <coughs> for at, at least for semi abelian varieties. We can only uh, we uh, we can only look at the, uh, we we can restrict our uh, attention to the torsion point, and uh, we made a new definition. Ah, so this is a joint work with uh, Ozeki, uh, Ozeki Yoshiyasu Ozeki. <coughs> uh, so. So, for, after this point, the, uh, everything is uh, joint work with Ozeki, and uh, a perfect field okay, is highly Kuma faithful. If for any finite extension uh, and any x, so here x is a proper uh, smooth variety over K, uh, L. And uh, uh, for any L, uh, L is always a prime number. And for any integers i and r, uh,
with uh, <coughs> it don't know. Uh, we have h i et al of x k bar q l r uh, g l is zero. <coughs> uh, so, <coughs> so this condition is uh, a generalization of this condition. Yeah. Ah, yes, yes, uh, absolute color group of L. And uh, <coughs> in the definition of, uh, original definition of Kuma phase field, A is a semi abelian variety, and uh, a semi abelian variety is not proper, but we use only proper varieties. But uh, since we allowed uh, various in, uh, degree i uh, and r twister, so uh, in fact we can prove that uh, <coughs> uh, Uh, in characteristic zero, highly Kuma faithful implies Kuma faithful. <coughs> uh, this is basically because uh, semi abelian varieties consist in, of uh, abelian part and the uh, torus part. And uh, <coughs> since we can uh, allow finite extension of uh, Torus uh, uh, is split over finite extension, and uh, we only be, uh, basically uh, consider GM and uh, the uh, uh, VLA of GM is uh, can be realized as a certain HI. So this is the proof. Yeah. Uh, you say for arbitrary prime L, then, then what happens if the characteristic of character K is a P and L becomes P? Yeah, yes. Do you use the entire case? Uh, yeah, for, for, uh, uh, about that, we, we, <laughs> if, uh, frankly speaking, we are not sure what, uh, what, to, what condition we should impose. But, uh, for, for the moment, we only use this in characteristic zero. <laughs> so mm, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a homework for, for me. <laughs> so and the uh, theorem about this uh, is, uh, so this is today's main theorem. Uh, if, if k <coughs> is a finite extension and uh, Large K is a Galois extension, and uh, L is a prime. Uh, and uh, assume uh, K has finite or uh, maximal ramification break. Uh, at <coughs> all uh, finite place over L, uh, then uh, for any uh, proper smooth variety. And uh, any <coughs> uh, 
constituent of uh, <coughs> This is a GK stable uh, sub quotient. Uh, for any I and R with uh, this condition, uh, the result, uh, the consequence is that the G large K fixed point uh, fixed subspace is zero. So, uh, in particular, uh, under that condition, uh, so this uh, this condition holds. Uh, as a corollary, so we have uh, uh, if k and k, small k are as, as above. And uh, if K has finite maximal ramification break, at, uh, at all finite places, then uh, K is uh, highly faithful. Uh, by the way, uh, maybe I should uh, <coughs> remind you this condition, maximal ramification break. So, uh, <coughs> in the uh, so this is a Galois extension. Uh, so. It, for uh, each finite place, there is a decomposition group. And uh, this has a upper, upper ramification filtration. And uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> uh, if this vanishes for finite m, finite m. It is, it, uh, so the largest number m is uh, called the maximum <coughs> ramification break. So it can be in infinite. But uh, uh, so that the assumption is that uh, for any finite place, V, uh, this vanishes with a finite M. So using this corollary, uh, we can produce uh, an example of uh, oh, highly uh, faceable fields, and uh, in particular, so if a over k is the same semi abelian variety, and uh, so. This is a family of uh, integers. Uh, and uh, suppose so let's uh, make such an extension. So this is uh, <coughs> the extension uh, obtained by adjoining this small k, the, all the coordinates of the 
p power torsion, but the torsion should be bounded for each p. <coughs> but we can uh, join uh, infinitely many uh, prime uh, prime torsion points. So this is a uh, uh, infinite Galois extension of this small k. Then. Uh, the divisible part of this model wave group uh, is trivial. So uh, going back to the, our uh, original motivation, this uh, field K or the model wave group is not too big, I mean compared to uh, Q bar. Uh, at least it does not have a divisible part. Uh, although uh, I don't know if this is free, uh, this is free or not. So finally, I just give a few words about the proof of, of the main theorem. Uh, so suppose you have a, such a, a sub quotient in this uh, <coughs> cohomology group, then just consider the determinant and consider the Galois action on the determinant. Then, uh, so it's a one dimension representation. So uh, the condition that it has, a <coughs> I mean, ah, so it, <coughs> uh, yeah, yeah, maybe here. Consider the determinant of V. Then, uh, so, ah, so sorry, V. The fixed part. Since we are interested in uh, the fixed part of P by GK, uh, so if you consider the determinant, then this is a representation of this kind of group. And uh, so it's a one dip, uh, abelian uh, uh, representation. So by the assumption that this is only finitely many, uh, finitely ramified uh, using the, the, the hasse alf theorem. Uh, the, <coughs> uh, the image is, in fact, uh, fi finite. And uh, <coughs> so this implies that the uh, uh, weight of the Frobenius action on P is zero. So, uh, but uh, by the condition that I is different from to R, uh, uh, this implies that this space should be zero. Otherwise, the, the Frobenius weight is non-zero, so it has it, the Galois image should be infinite. So this is the proof. Okay, let's. I, I stop here. Thank you very much.